Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Indian School of Physics. So today I have come up with uh, another uh, exciting problem and the name of the problem is a charged watermelon slice. So let's uh, go to the statement of uh, this problem. It will be very very useful for uh, the students who are preparing for uh, JE Advance. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. A non-conducting uniformly charged slice of a hollow sphere of radius r is taken out as shown in the figure. There is a point p at the edge of the slice and c is the center of the sphere. If vp and vc are the electric potential at point p and c respectively, then the ratio of vp and vc will be. So this is the statement of uh, this problem and we can see here one uh, slice has been taken out of uh, this uh, hollow sphere and C is the center of it and this point P is uh, the point at the edge. So we have to find this uh, uh, VP by VC ratio in this case. So let's discuss the concept part. This problem is uh, since it is part of uh, hollow sphere. So somewhere the idea will be behind uh, uh, this problem. Uh, we will derive from uh, hollow sphere only. Let's see. So as we know, in case of a uniformly distributed uh, charge on a hollow sphere, the field inside is going to be uh, zero. If it is uniformly charged, field inside is going to be zero. So we'll be keeping this uh, idea in mind and we are going to solve this problem. So let's say here, in this case, direct calculation of uh, VP will be very difficult in this uh, case. It will involve uh, integral and uh, maybe few more uh, 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 points uh, related to the information of this problem will be required in order to solve this question. However, in order to find this ratio of VP by VC, we can uh, easily solve it. So let's say at some intermediate point between the P and C on the line joining P and C, the electric field components is having two components EY and EX. As, as you can see here, these two components are uh, EY and EX. Now what we are going to do is we are going to complete this sphere by adding multiple uh, such pieces in such a way that we can obtain the entire uh, hollow sphere so that we can say net field inside is going to be zero. Let's say n such pieces are required in order to complete this uh, hollow sphere. So n such pieces if we are adding one by one, we are going to get uh, this type of uh, situation. Okay, so about this axis we are bringing one piece and then we are adding into the previous one and one more piece we are adding into the previous one like this we are going to complete this entire uh, sphere here. Now in this case uh, we can say if n such pieces are required for complete uh, sphere so for all these pieces this ex will be pointing in same direction as you can see here this ex is going to be pointing in the same direction so total field at this uh, intermediate point I can say it will become n times ex due to x component of field due to one slice similarly these uh, ey components are going to add and they are, these are equally inclined vectors so we can say this summation of n times vector ey is going to give us zero because they are going to cancel out each other now the net field inside is going to be uh, n times ex the net field inside is going to be n times ex which is actually zero because it is a complete uh, uniform uh, shell so from here we can say this ex itself is zero now since we know that ex is zero the net field on this line uh, pc is going to be along y direction only so if we are moving from p to c we are not going to do any work or we can just simply say vp minus vc is equal to minus vector ex dx that we can say but since ex is zero from here we are going to get uh, vp minus vc equal to zero which will give us the answer as vp by vc as one so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, solution it's a very nice trick to solve this question without involving any integral and we can uh, save a lot of uh, time as well so if you have liked the video please uh, like it share with your friends and teachers and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much i'll come up with uh, another uh, 
amazing problem thank you